Morning guys, welcome back. Okay, today's video is about the hand tech scope. So today I'm going to capture an ignition waveform with the hand tech scope and the current clamp. Uh, just show you how to check the scaling on it and how to capture it to start with. So the first scope I bought was this hand tech. It's a 1008 or the 1008C. Uh, it's an 8 channel scope, it's a budget scope. Uh, it's about maybe 80 pounds. Uh, the other scope that I'm going to show you here is this single channel scope, it's pretty good. I think this is a DSO Nano V3, uh, came with some really quite rubbish, some quite poor leads. So I got this adapter, that changed it to BNC, just because in this wee jack port here. So that's quite handy, I uh, just use that for you know, CAN networks and voltages and, and such, just really handy, it boots up in seconds, you've seen that yourself. Okay, the next one is obviously the big one, the 4425 Automotive Pico, which is obviously by far, in a way, the best scope here. Uh, in between buying the hand tech scope, I bought this 2000 series scope, which is quite good, uh, but it's only two channel, uh, and it's not automotive software, although I think there's a way of getting the software working with this, but that's a, for another video. Okay, the, uh, the sorry, signal probe for coil and plug is the HT 25 COP. Uh, this is the, the probe I use here for catching ignition waveforms on coil and plug. Uh, coil and plug setups. So, excuse me, the way I'm holding this here, but it's quite comfortable to use. It's a kind of copy of the Pico one. It works fairly well. You see the end there, just sit on top of the coil pack. I found myself cable tying that on so I can go into the can and do snap throttles, but it, you can sometimes jam it in between in between something else if you're if you're up there, but you can cross that bridge and come here. Okay, so moving over. Got the low amp current clamp which you use for obviously coil packs. Uh, this is the CC so this is the CC65. Uh, it's kinda cheap as well, but it, it works pretty well. I don't have any issues with it. Although I would consider myself kinda more of a basic scope user around the, the advanced guys you, you see on the on the Facebook pages and I'm, I'm not at their level so I couldn't really you know, tell you in depth whether it had any kind of noise on it that was causing issues or not but I don't find any issues with it. So when you buy this 8 channel uh, hand tech scope here it comes with these leads they're just kind of cheap short uh, crocodile clips I've, I've heard people saying that the crocodile clips break off I've not had a problem with them uh, you would use these in conjunction with some pins I bought some T-pins from eBay, again really cheap, so you would just kind of back pin with them, but they are quite thick for some of the some of the plugs these days, so just be careful when you're stuffing them in. Okay, so it brings me on to probably going and capturing a, a signal now, so I'll just move this trolley out of the way. So this is the engine we're going to be working on, it's an Audi. Uh, this coil here we're going to we're going to go into, we're going to clamp around this power supply wire and we're just going to set the, the lead on top of here and I'll get you on the screen, I'll put some screen recording software on here so that it's nice and clear for you in the video uh, we'll capture some events and then we'll put some cursors on the measure and you can see for yourself what kind of picture we get on that I feel it's pretty decent uh, the hand tech gets maybe a wee bit of a negative you know, comment towards it, I, I feel personally anyway some people complain of the software but see really, if it's a budget scope uh, that you're in the market for I, I mean I'm, I'm for the hand tech, I think it's pretty decent uh, uh, so anyway, I'm on channel channel one and channel seven. So channel one is going to be my ignition voltage waveform, and channel seven, I only selected seven because I quite like to cover it. So anyway, so we're going to get the amps on there. So we'll capture it on screen and we'll see how we got on. 